Hello class, this is Miss Lackey. Today's story is just one more swim. I really like this story because it's just a very encouraging story and I figured we all could use a little bit of extra encouragement today. So be encouraged as you listen to this story, Just One More Swim. Big Bear's tiny cubs were safe inside their snowdrift den. The cubs woke up, they yawned and stretched, they turned their heads toward the sound of the ocean. Big Bear stood up and sniffed the air. She lumbered out toward the water. The cubs scampered after her, blinking at the dazzling world. Big Bear padded across the ice. She stopped and dug a hole. She dipped in her paw and scooped out a fish. The cubs did just what Big Bear did. One dug a hole, the other pounced on the cloud of white and frightened off the fish. The cubs squabbled, they fought, they tackled each other and tumbled and rolled over and over in the snow. They ran and raced on their snowshoe paws and tummy toboggan on the ice, but then they stopped and stared. What is that? they asked. The cubs trembled as they gazed at the blue-green water ahead. Every morning, Big Bear coaxed her cubs a little further toward the ocean. Then one day, Big Bear and her cubs slowly and carefully made their way to the water's edge. Big Bear gently slid into the icy sea. The cubs jumped up and squealed, come back, they cried. But Big Bear swam out strongly to an island of waves, to an island of ice in the waves. The cubs waited for her, shivering on the thin ice. They watched seals curve over the rolling waves and saw silver fish flip and spin. The water rippled, the cubs patted it, but it just wouldn't stay still. Then they put two paws in and pulled them right back out again. Big Bear called to her cubs to swim over to the island. Come to me across the ocean, she urged. Up in the air, the seabirds flew crying, swim, swim. You can do it, called Big Bear. I know you can. Swim, swim. And they did. Before they knew it, the cubs were swimming too. Under the water they went, twisting and turning in the aquamarine sea. Up to the top of the water they swam, passing a norwal with his sword and a whiskered walrus too. Then they dived down from on high, cutting through the waves. The cubs paddled with their powerful paws over and under the arctic waves. They splashed and thrashed and somersaulted through the icy water. So this is what we do. We can swim too. They paddled and swam until Big Bear insisted, come out now. The cubs pulled their weary bodies onto the ice, shaking rainbow drops all over Big Bear. Then Big Bear led her cubs to where the juicy blueberries grow. The cubs ate and ate until their muzzles and paws turned blue. Big Bear sprawled on her back, paws in the air. She enjoyed the sunshine on her damp fur, but the cubs had other ideas. And as they headed back toward the water one more time, Big Bear smiled as she heard their call. Just one more swim. So this is just a wonderful little story that encourages us to know that 
even though we may think we are unable to do something, just a little bit of encouragement will boost us and help push us a very long way. So Ms. Lackey just wants you to be encouraged today. I hope you have a great day and happy learning.